Stiff person syndrome, it's a rare autoimmune condition, primarily like most autoimmune conditions, affects females, almost three to one. And it's actually several similar conditions. We call it the stiff person spectrum disorders. The most commonly appreciated form, the classical stiff person syndrome, was described almost 70 years ago now at the Mayo Clinic. And that presented with really severe axial muscle stiffness and rigidity just horrific spasms that were prolonged. But there are other related diseases as well. And some people actually present with more of a, what we call cerebellar phenotype, and that controls eye movements, coordinated movements and balance. At the University of Utah, we've had a long-standing clinic caring for patients with stiff person spectrum disorders within our autoimmune neurology clinic. There are a lot of needs, as you can imagine, that come with this condition. For many patients, they require immunotherapy Therapy, but just as important, if not more important, are the symptomatic and supportive treatments because there are really myriad symptoms that really affect quality of life. Because there are no currently FDA approved treatments for stiff person spectrum disorders, we also do a lot of research here at the University of Utah. So we do continue to treat, we continue to research, we continue to give all of the supportive care and therapies that we can to stiff person syndrome patients.